Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Alan Rosa. Welcome to Kid 118, Advanced Auto Kid, in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Okay, so here we are running our weekly Zoom classroom meeting at 11.45. We've released Chapter 8, Converting and Sectioning, and we've added an additional project to this as well. And so we have these, these basic projects, and essentially it's just going through and slicing our three-dimensional models using section planes, as well as creating a flat shot and we've added this project one drawing of this um, tray bin assembly. And so that is located right here. You can download that file. Remember the midterm is, is still active until 11.59 tonight. You're allowed up to two attempts for the midterm exam and we are using honor lock proctoring software. It costs $10 for one exam, or I believe it's 18 for two, or, or multiple yeah. use. Is that right, guys? Yeah, that's correct. And so um, we recommend taking using the multiple uh, option because we will be using Honor Lock for the final exam as well. And we need to. We need to make sure that everybody is who they say they are and that they're doing their own work. The Exam is located under quizzes and exams. You'll need a photo ID and a web browser, etc. So far, so good. Everybody is taking the exam, has done really well with it. And remember, if you do need assistance, you can email us and we'll just get like a little orange bubble here that'll tell us that there's a message. As we look at this week's assignment, we're going to look at converting and sectioning. And so they go through converting things to solids using things like thickness and slice and things like that. And so it's a good chapter. We can see the content here. And the assignments are to do these four practice exercises. And then we've also added an additional exercise called Project One for this stackable tray. Put all the drawings onto a title block like we have shown here. You know, and so here we convert like a solid mesh into a solid sphere. Here we'll slice this object, use a cutting plane, section plane, and complete this one with flat shot. And then in our stackable trays, what we'll do is we'll create this stackable tray. There's a YouTube video for it also. You can go through the YouTube video here. You will need a file to create that. And so the project can be done in either inches or millimeters and you can download the file. And if you look at the workbook exercise, the workbook exercise basically has us produce this stackable tray and it starts off and it just gives us this geometry. And then we'll extrude that and we'll shell it, create cylinders on the corners of it, copy those cylinders up to a known location, union them, add these cylinder cutouts, and then we'll populate that throughout the drawing. And then we'll create the poles and copy it into an assembly. And they talk a little bit about colors and things like that, but that's not really a big thing. I think they show some of the different visual styles, like the sketchy visual style, which kind of looks like a hand pencil. These are typically done with architectural drawings. And so that's our additional project for Module 8. And as we get better with the drawings and things, we'll continue to add projects to keep the course interesting and to keep up on our skills. With that, I'm gonna go back to the main splash page and we'll wrap up our meeting for today. Remember, if you haven't taken the final exam, you can still take the final exam up until 
it's not a bad idea to take the practice midterm so that you can help improve your score. The midterm practice exam is also available. Remember, it's just the multiple choice. There are no drawing assignments for this midterm. With that, I'm going to stop the recording and open things up for questions.